here we go we are back 2023 super windy if you can hear me great to be back fishing's finally getting started we've been messing around here for the little bit not getting much fishing in so I am jacked to get out maybe too much might have to dial it down a notch but we are here week starting it's great to see everyone if you haven't saw winter we brought the OG back OG ready to swim jig Senko bus fish in the face and pitching everything underneath the lines hell yes let's go let's go so We'll see. We'll see how I can do without uh, Kyle around here to lean on. Who's uh, probably catching some giant walleyes right now, but uh, we are back. We are pumped to get back at it again. Fish are probably spawn, pre-spawn, post-spawn. It's gonna be a lot of low weights, I think, tonight. I don't think it's gonna be normal north-south center weights that you'd see in the summertime. See how many uh, females get caught, but we're back, we're fishing, we're ready to rock. Next. Well, after these first couple fish, you could tell it was uh, very apparent as soon as I pulled up that the lake had changed. I had got out a week beforehand. There was a lot of bass that were still on beds, but when I got to this backwater area, it was all weeds had grown up. Uh, they were already like algae, slime covered. It had completely changed. We caught these two little ones and moved through there fast and realized that I had to, or we had to, change what we were doing and try to look for some transitional areas that everything progressed so pretty fast. So I realized real quick that my uh, game plan of staying shallow the whole time, I was probably going to have to throw out the window and start making adjustments and we start making going through adjustments your best bed what's that That's just a pound and a half or right up if you cast somewhere up in there, yeah. So as we're making adjustments, we're pitching weeds, we're fishing inside weed lines, we're fishing some little areas outside of some of the spawning pockets that Got him? we uh Oof. I guess I was off. that maybe some fish group up at, this point? but we are striking out. We are really, really struggling. Nope. Um, I can see a bass up on the smaller side than weed line had. just sitting with the bluegills, but it was really negative. It was not about what we were throwing. And so I realized that there is well, some fish sure up shallow. Seeing some fry balls, no bass on beds, lots and lots of bluegills. Is that a no doubter? And uh, it's really frustrating at this point that uh, we can't get any traction. I realize that uh, 
my time on the water for the year has is, is, uh, really kept away from everything that I am way behind on what's going on. It's unfortunate, but uh, that's the way fishing is. So we were behind the eight ball as uh, some people started out on some deep things right away, which really surprised me. But we keep running through stuff. At this point, we tried a deep spot and caught a couple. So I caught that one on a little bit of inside weed line disaster. on a deep place. It looks like I can see That's some the down there on the side scan. But maybe they're walleyes, maybe they're something else, and it's just, it's not happening. So we're gonna run to, as I'm going down this bank fishing some docks, we caught that little one. Um, I had another one come and bite me on this inside weed line and I miss another one and see another one. And I realize I gotta do something else. So I turn around and this is what happens. Fortunately, there's only an hour left in the tournament. That's bad, it's real bad. I barely see that guy swimming around down there. Came up and grabbed it. There's a decent one. Ah, never mind, sorry. Where's the first one I missed? Oh, probably like right in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Little one. Down? Jesus. It's Took your Senko? It's not a giant one, I mean. Look at that. Tub of bone. Thanks, dude. Yes. 
Yes, I have the biggest bass of life. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Do world record. Wow. This tournament was uh, something. My time on the water throughout the year, I thought I could just come in and uh, just uh, fish shallow. And this was quite a quite a helping a humble pie for the year to start off tournament fishing my time on the water really showed showed out uh, unreal I'm that was some unreal bags of fish that congrats to Aaron and Jake for that's heck of a bag any time of year but uh, post spawn funk catch 22 pounds out there that is a big bag of fish. Unreal. Congrats to those guys. Congrats to Ron and Jim and Nathan and Brian because I thought 15 pounds was still really good big for what, how negative the fish were to find some bigger males or some post spawners after this. Uh, congrats to them. But <laughs> definitely an eye opener that I'm behind and I really, really got to put some time in to get back to where I want to be. But that's why you fish tournaments, you get your butt kicked and you got to make adjustments. And I realized that uh, I came in unprepared for this one. And if it's going to be a good year, I'm going to have to change some things up and spend some time pre-fishing. I'm just not that good enough fishermen just to walk right in and do good so um, unreal it was unreal to me for this one that the fish moved out that fast but small little lakes like this there is somewhat of a transitional period it looked like some people are able to hit that and uh People are, people are getting real, real good. There's no doubt about it. Some good fishermen, some competition. And so we're gonna have to step up our game for the rest of the year. And uh, I guess I accept the challenge and hopefully we can get back to where we're at. But it's good to see everyone. It's good to get back in the swing of things. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.